Hi guys, Mike Greer here with a quick video tour of a wonderful website for learning about art. It's called Artie Factory and it's at artiefactory.com. The site's not only beautiful, but it's well designed, easy to navigate, and at the same time, quite informative. It allows you to go just as deep as you want to go on any particular topic, whether it's the creation of art through art lessons, whether it's learning about the structural components of design, or whether it's simply knowing the history of art, the various styles of art, etc. I'd like to go down the page here a minute. Now I'm scrolling down, and yeah, these are, see, it's beautifully designed. There's all kinds of wonderful stuff there. We're going to go back and look at some of those in a minute. I'm going clear down to the bottom so we can click on About Us, and up comes the About section. This is really interesting. John McTaggart, as we see here, an art teacher from Glasgow, Scotland, with over 36 years experience, has put this wonderful site together and made it a great resource. John's philosophy is to be visually powerful. And so the lessons are organized in terms of visual strength and then carefully crafted with just enough text and instructions to uh, get you to complete the particular learning objective or skill. Just show you the breadth of this. I'm going to the site map. You see right down there in the bottom right, site map. This site map shows us, uh, it shows us all in one spot, the wonderful things that are available from RT Factory. And these are the art lessons. And you see the art lessons there. We've got Africa. Let's just pick one, click on it. We'll pick on pencil portraits. Now we click on that. Drawing portraits, the proportions, the head and face, drawing the eye, drawing the nose. You can jump into whichever lesson you want here. So uh, let's just jump in in the middle. Uh, I'm going to click on drawing the mouth. And up comes uh, step one, do a line drawing. Step two, getting some toning together. Step three, final tone. You see it's step by step, not a whole lot of text, but just good stuff. We see other kinds of choices in the pencil portrait area of study. Okay. Let me go back here to the art lessons again. We're going to click on art lessons at the top level, the main menu. And we go down through, scrolling through there, we see the, all the choices. We've got African masks, ancient Egyptian art, still life. Let's go with still life in oil pastels and click on that. What do we get? We get a, a general introduction, some materials that you're going to need. Tells you what you need for this particular lesson. Kind of like a recipe ingredients list. And then step by step, it takes you through the process of drawing that still life. Applying tone and color. Color the still life from front back to front, etc. Now you might say to yourself, hey, why wouldn't I just go to YouTube and snag some videos? Well, you can stick this on your tablet, put your tablet beside you and go step by step without having to try and track a video and the movement within the video and keep clicking pause. You just go step by step and as put together by a master teacher, John McTaggart. So this is really good stuff. Let's go back up to design lessons and check that out. There's free design lessons here. Repeat patterns, color theory, color terms, little color quiz. Let's get into the color terms to see what that's about. Color terms one, additive and subtractive color. So now we're getting into some of the underpinning theory related to constructing good art. Additive color, subtractive color, the spectrum itself, how those hues are arranged and what the primary colors are and how they all fit together, secondary colors and so forth. Really lots of good stuff here and it's quite visual. Okay, color terms too. By clicking next, you notice we get up to tints, shades, intensity, transparency, opaqueness, etc. Okay, let's click on art appreciation here and see what's in that box. The qualities of great art. But you know, if you've ever gone to a museum and, and tried to really comprehend the significance of what you're looking at, a little art appreciation can help you have a richer experience with that museum visit. 
Let's click on uh, Impressionism. I happen to like Impressionism. Let's see what comes up here. We've got an overview. Monet, of course, being one of our first. Impressionist artist. Impressionist painting technique. Descriptive information about that. Degas. Japanese prints and how Impressionism was connected to them and so forth. And notice there's little, uh, there's links occasionally. I think I saw one back there. Impressionism and beyond. We just click on Vincent van Gogh and see where that goes. When we click on that, we go deeper on Vincent van Gogh, where we really go into what his art was about and where it came from, what his life was about a little bit. Here's the art appreciation menu, art movements and styles, art history timeline, slideshows, portrait artist, and so forth. Let's check out a slideshow. Art history slideshow, see what that looks like. I pick Baroque, and here comes up our Baroque and Rococo slideshow. I'm gonna zoom out one notch here on my browser so we can see that a little better. You see, you got your slideshow controls down there where we can pause it if we choose or we can back up art appreciation through the Baroque and Rococo slideshow. So now we're back to the homepage, artifactory.com. Highly recommend this site. Learn hands-on art lessons, step-by-step -step art lessons, all sorts of styles and tools, design lessons and art appreciation lessons. Go as deep as you want and as wide as you want with links to all sorts of other resources. So check out artifactory.com just to make life a little better by adding a little art. And enjoy!